Hi everybody, Belinda here. Good morning. Today I'm going to be using a 12 by 16 or 12 by 14 inch. Can't quite, can't quite remember it's too early in the morning. Um, I hope all you guys are well. I'm going to run through my colours quickly. So here we have the um, vermilion orange. My beautiful bright green. I'm not sure whether I'm going to use that. Um, I have some mixed up. This was actually leftover metallics, which I kind of scraped together. And um, we're going to be using the purple again, metallics, deco art, navy blue and my beautiful magenta well not mine but beautiful magenta so let's get started i think i'm going to go in with this purple first it's not um it's actually amethyst So if you haven't watched my previous video, um, I've actually renamed it to God's hand because it actually has a great big hand. <laughs> Almost like the finger is going like this, it's like calling you. And I never really noticed it before. Hence why I've renamed it. Right, um, let's see. Mm -hmm. I'm always a little concerned that I'm going to mix my colours, but the, these colours that I'm using, this Atelier, has very, very strong pigments. And of course, you know, all my paint is mixed two parts paint to one part flow trial. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> the other way around. One part paint to two parts flow trial. A little bit of water for consistency. And um, my white has a little bit of the satin enamel in it, deco art. Right, guys, what color should I put on the top? Hmm. Hmm. Let's use a little bit of this concoction here because that is also the deco art so this deco art um i've mixed one part paint one part flow troll and a tiny bit of water okay that should be more than enough You know, again, I don't want too much coverage. I want quite a bit of white space. Torches. if you can see this here yeah, but um, the cells are popping up through 
that's from the um, Deca Art, uh, not the satin enamel, it's a uh, um, metallics. You'll see the pink popping up through there. Right guys, we have our little tool again today. Which way am I going to go? I don't, um, I'm just wondering if it's better to use the bigger tool, but might be a bit too big. I'm going to hold on to my canvas this time. Making a decision, guys. Making a decision. Put some light back. Um, I think instead of putting white in there, I'm going to put some pink. this purple left. Lavender. I'm not really fond of that area there. So let's see what I can do. Let me just flip it over. will do it. See all these cells popping up? Okay, let's see what we can get.
You know, the funny thing is, um, with my artwork, and this has always been like, for as long as I can remember, I've been doing art all my life. And whatever I have in my subconscious somehow manages to find its way in my art. And this morning I was listening to all these beautiful birds chirping outside. <coughs> and I see I have an array of birds popping up here, which is really cool. Alright guys, I'm, I don't want to do too much more. Because I do have some beautiful effects going on here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place some of this here. I always love using what's left on the spatula because it just looks so awesome. colors now guys <coughs> I'm gonna give this a torch and then I'm just gonna do a little bit of extra detail we are a little bit of lumps and bumps which is expected because that's um, the paint is quite old I'm actually quite excited about this one. Looking quite nice. I love these cells that have been popping up over there. going so well. these metallics take over really quickly I think this turned out beautifully and um, I see quite a few exotic birds there's one over there quite a big one and it's got um, some beautiful cells on the back
you know, if you have a look over here, it's a teeny little bird over here. Now we have uh, two birds that look like that here in New Zealand, and they are it's either a moa or a kiwi bird. Pretty cool. They don't have wings, they just um, kind of walk around. And then over here, here's a, a great big bird as well. You can see its beak. All nice and colourful. And there seems to be another bird over here as well. Very nice. It's all these little birds. It's unbelievable. Like I said, you know, in the beginning, um, whatever seems to be in my subconscious at the time I'm doing my art always comes out in my art. Very strange. <laughs> this one looks like it's been walking down there. Well guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.